Chainstorms with DroidModerX.com. A couple weeks back, I made the announcement that Verizon was releasing an over the air update, VRA LL4, that would remove the ability to unlock your bootloader and would actually patch your bootloader if it was currently unlocked. And I suggested that you not, uh, in any way, shape, form, or fashion, download and install that update. Well, I have good news for you. This weekend, Adam Outler and Relic Dev, the two developers behind Casual Root, updated Casual Root and included the root method, the unlock bootloader method for this new update. So, uh, just so you guys can see, I'm running totally stock here. In fact, I flashed back to stock and installed the VR ALL 4 over the year update. So, if we go to About Phone, you'll see I'm running Android 4.1.1 and my baseband is VR ALL 4. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and continue with the process. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and plug your device in and then we're going to run the casual root process. I'll include links in the description to Adam Outler's thread uh, so that you can download the files that you need. So we'll go ahead and head to the computer and get started with that. Real quickly before we proceed, I forgot to mention that this does need to be in USB debugging mode. So we'll go to settings and developer options. Turn those on and turn on USB debugging and then you can go to the computer and get started. Okay, so there are three files that are required. You'll need the casual root file, you'll need the, the uh, BAV baseline, and the back batch of Verizon files. I just put all those in a folder so that they were easily accessible. So the first thing you'll run is the casual back batch of Verizon jar file. You will need Java installed in order to run this, so we'll just kind of right click, open with Java. Okay, so all we have to do here is click do it and it's going to boot us into, this should reboot us into download mode, which is what it says it's doing. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and continue. It says, please ensure you have flash the, okay, so this is what we need to do now. Before we click continue, from here we'll go to Odin. And we will select the baseline. So go to your folder that you created. We're looking for the baseline file. And we'll go ahead and flash that. Okay, and then we will flash the final exploit in Odin. So we'll exit this and reopen Odin. And we will select the uh, back hatch of Horizon Tar and we will flash that. So this is what flashes our new recovery, Team Win Recovery Project. When it's all finished, we should have an unlocked bootloader. We should be rooted and have Team Win Recovery Project installed. So once the phone reboots, we'll go ahead and continue. And when it's all said and done, it will boot into Team Win Recovery Project. So now you have been unlocked, rooted with custom recovery installed. All thanks to Adam, Outler, and Relic Dev. And uh, once again, this does work on the newest version of Android or the newest version of TouchWiz for the Galaxy Note 2, the VR ALL4. Uh, it works perfectly fine. This is the new method for rooting your device. It will work on previous versions, but it also works on the over-the-air update. Uh, so big shout outs to Adam Outler and Relic Dev for creating this method. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. Thanks guys for watching. Oh, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. I've got tons and tons of cases to give away. So I'm going to start doing my uh, Twitter giveaways. You want to be sure that you are following me on Twitter. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. AOKP has finally released MR1 build number two.